Hello and welcome to a Minecraft tutorial on the plugin WorldGuard. The first command is God. This just enables God mode. It makes you invincible. It's just slash God. And then slash God again to disable it. And if you do slash God in a player's name, it'll also enable or disable it for them. The second command is heal. So you can either do it to a player, so slash heal player's name or just slash heal and it will heal yourself the next one slay and this can kill a player so either do it to another player I don't know why you do it to yourself but you can so I'll just go back And the next one's stack. It enables you to stack items that are in your infantry. So if you just do slash stack, it will stack any that you've got more than one of. So I'll show you again with two different types, so gold block and cobblestone. And then just do slash stack. There you go, you can see that it stacks it all for you. To use WorldGuard you will need WorldEdit installed and there will be a link in the description below. And the command for the tool is slash wand, so you just do slash slash wand. Select the first position of your cuboid and then the second, so this will protect the house. And then if I expand down one block, so slash slash expand one down, protects one block underneath. Then I do region, define. And then the region name, I'll name this YouTube. And that's basically just created a region, so it's saved. And now this region is protected. Then I do region list, and it shows you the other regions that I've got. So I've only got three at the moment. And I'll just build up. And using string it shows you where the region is. So yes, there's a region here, but no, there's not one here. And if I do expand to up, and then to expand it up, just do region, redefine, and then the name, so YouTube. And this expands it back up to there. So if I test it again with string, there we go, that's protected as well. The next one's region add owner, and then you use the region name and then the player's name, so region add owner YouTube, and then my name. And then slash region remove owner, and then region name, and then the player name, and that removes the owner. And then region add member, YouTube player name, that adds a member to the region, and then same again, region remove member region name and then player name and that will remove the member from the region and then region info you want to put the ID after it so region info YouTube and that will show you the info on the region the next set of commands are the flag commands. These stop players being able to build or monsters from spawning inside a region. And the first one we'll do is region, flag, region name. And then the flag type, so the first one will be construct and then deny. And this just stops players from being able to build. And the next one's the same command, but instead of construct, you just put in PvP. And this means no one can kill each other inside this region. The next one's mob damage, and then deny that. This means mobs can't damage you inside this region. And then mob spawning. And this should stop mobs from spawning inside this region as well. And 
and then you've got creeper explosion and this just stops creepers from being able to explode inside these regions as well and you can also stop endermen griefing Oh, you can see a list of all the commands there. There's so many different types. Like, you can set the snowfall and the grass growth and mushroom growth. Lava flow, there's all sorts. I just spelt grief wrong. I'll just type it in again. So that denies grief in. Then you've got sleep. So if you deny sleep, it means players can't use beds inside this region. And then you've got water flow, and if you deny that, it means water doesn't flow. So if you place a block of water, it will just stay as a solid, and the same with lava. And the next command is use deny. This is probably the one you'll use most, along with construct. So if you're selling houses, I've got a plugin that enables this, and there'll be a link in the description below. And it just stops players being able to use the doors or chests. The next one's greeting, so you can just set the greeting, so hey. And then the farewell, so see ya. And then every time you walk in or out of the region it will just say this. And if you flag deny spawn, then you can set which monsters can't spawn. So if you don't want creepers to spawn, or you don't want zombies to spawn, you just change the name. So you can let other monsters spawn, but not these specific ones. The next one's blocked commands, it allows you to block commands inside of the region, so I'll just block the command home, so players can't go home from inside this region. And then if you do allow commands, it just allows the command. The next one's teleport. You put the command in it, it sets a teleport point for this region. So you just put in teleport here. And I'll quickly show you the command. The next one's setting a parent if two regions overlap. I'll just create another region quickly.
So I'll make this region the parent because it's outside. And to make it the parent you do region, set parent, and then the child first, so YouTube. And then parent, YouTube parent. And this means if you're a member of YouTube, you can only build inside that. But if you're a member of YouTube parent, you can build in both. A piece of string is the tool to check regions. You just right click and it will show you. So you can see there's two regions there, but only one back here. So if I de-op myself, I'll show you that I can't build or open the door. So that doesn't let me do anything. Then I'll quickly op myself and add myself. So region add owner to YouTube, me. quickly de-op again and I'll show you that I can open that so you can see I can't build in the first region but I'm allowed to open the door and use the chest in this one because construct is set to deny I can't build in here either Thanks for watching, I hope this video has helped, if it has please remember to rate, subscribe and comment.